Welcome everybody to the first premiere episode of Mindful Moments. Look, whether you're on your way to work, at the gym, in the car, if you're working from home and got your Zoom top on and your basketball shorts on, I'm glad that y'all decided to come and listen. So I'm not going to be long, but I wanted to title this first episode, Do It Scared. So I just in the process of starting this podcast, I looked at my intro because I was going to reuse my intro, right? And so I was going to use the one that I originally recorded and I listened to the audio and I said I was 23. I'm about to be 25. The date, Devin, the date had April 21st, 2021. Y'all will probably see him on here, but in the back is my friend, pod producer, photography, and videographer connoisseur, Devin Jackson. Cue, cue the applause. Cue the applause. But, um, yeah, it said, it said April 21st, 2021. So I had had that intro for almost two years. That's mind boggling, but it was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, I was sitting on that. I was sitting on something that I had planned on doing for almost two years or or even the action of it because I had been wanting to start a podcast but the intro or just like starting it period acting on it between then and now has been almost 2 years and I don't know well I won't say I don't know because I do know what the difference between then and now is and it's I feel like I have a sense of responsibility now but I'm also in a state or in a mindset of just doing it scared and so I just wanted to help y'all work through that. If it's an idea, a goal, whatever you got going on that you just felt like you put down or you just, not that you don't feel motivation for it, but you're just hesitant to start it. Um, don't let time pass you by. Time is going by fast, so fast. And you, we never know how fast time goes by until it's left us. And when I listened back to that recording, because I was ready to use it. I already had it recorded. I already had it edited, had my music added. I was ready to go. And I saw 2021. I said, oh, girl, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. This don't make no sense. It was embarrassing. (laughs) But anyway, yeah, recorded a new intro, been posting my content, and I've just been in a really good headspace, man. I've just, while I have been hesitant the the idea of um and that'll lead me to this quote that I saw but the idea of being regretful was more weighed down on me more than the idea of failing and I found this quote by Ruth Sukup if I pronounced your name wrong Ruth I apologize but it says let your fear of regret be stronger than your fear of failure So how often do we let our fear of failure cripple us from not doing it? You can't, you can't have a regret if you never try, but you also can never learn if you never try. So when you have a fear of failure, it's, it's the fear of what if I mess up or what if it goes bad or just what if it goes wrong? What if it goes right? What if, it ends up being everything you thought that it would be. And even if you fail, it's still going to end up being what it should be because failure is redirection every single time. Every single time. You always hear millionaires say it. You always hear successful people say it. Just how they talk about failure. Failure is just like life is going to happen. It's not a matter of if but when. Failure happens. It's not me being pessimistic. It's just the reality of life. That is how you learn. You make mistakes. That is how you grow. It is a growing pain. And regret is crippling. But like I said, failure is redirection. Would you rather look back on your life and say, these were the things that I tried and didn't necessarily do good at, but at least you know not to do them instead of being 10 years, 5, 10 years down the line and you're looking now and saying, dang, I would have wished I tried that. The fear of the unknown 
in the present moment is more um is is daunting in the present moment but it haunts you when you're looking at it from in a in a hindsight view so yeah I don't know what's going to happen but let me at least try instead of saying I don't know what's going to happen not doing anything and then you looking down the line and realize how much that kept you from doing what you were supposed to do and I really just said all that to say all it takes is one step um when I was starting the or I'll say this I tend to get I get ain't no tend to get child she gets I get very overwhelmed with the ideas in my head because they're so big and they scare me but I've learned when it scares you that probably means you need to do it but um for me personally I know if it's too big for me then it fits perfectly in God's hands so so I have the things that I need to do, the steps I need to take, and act on that. Do what I can control. Um, taking that first step towards just tackling it. Just take it one day at a time. That's that's all you can do. When you pick it back up, when you start that idea, yes, you may have an overarching idea or an overarching goal, but break it up because me, if I – if I look at all this stuff, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to plan everything out to the point where I've spent a year planning and haven't put anything out. And for me, that was, that was my content. I was like, oh, I got all these ideas. I'm seeing all these people do this, this like amazing thing, these amazing things, excuse me. And yes, it's motivating, but it's also like, I could have, I could have been doing this too. And like I said, it just takes one step and understand too yes you may be scared but faith and fear can coexist but which one will you feed which one will you listen to if you have an idea that's bigger than you nine times out of ten your intuition your gut is going to want to go after it especially if you know it's a gift that God's given you you're going to want to go after it. it's going to constantly like all of this podcasting content all that type of stuff it always, um, I guess you could say it always kind of ate at me just because I knew I should be doing it. I knew I should have been acting on it. and But I was scared, so I was listening to fear more. And not saying when I post my content now or even when I'm recording, not to say that to an extent I am less fearful, but doing it scared is, it, it helps beat the fear of it. It really does. And uh, another quote that I found, confront your fears and they won't be fears anymore. That is a fact. I don't know who said it, but he or she was spitting. Confront your fears and they won't be fears anymore. When you look at these big things that you have and these big ideas that you want to do and you say, hey, I'm going to get you done. We're going to get it done. But I got to break it down a little bit. And before you know it, like, you're there. You are there. And so I said all that to say whatever it is that you feel like you put down, whatever it is that you feel like you just kind of left hanging because you didn't, I don't know, you felt like you couldn't do it, you felt like you weren't capable, or you just let fear cripple you, or you let other people tell you that you couldn't do it. Let me tell you something. You sure enough can do it. You can do it. And if there are other people telling you that you can't do it, that's even more of a sign that you can do it. Don't let people project their incapability and their fear onto you. That's got nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. And often when people, um, often when people say, um, I don't think you can do it. It never relates to what you should actually be doing. It's often because they probably weren't able to do something that was really pressing on their heart. So don't take that personally. And I just want it to be your reminder to let you know that you can do it. And I'm telling you that because I've had to tell myself that these past few months, I can do it. I can do it. Even, And I'm not saying when I told myself this that I believed it. There was a a good while where I was just like, I don't, mm -mm." 
but I had to say, Jada, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Just do this part. Just handle this right here. Tackle this task right here. Tackle this small goal right here. Tackle this idea. Write this down. You can do it. You can do it. So confront your fears, and they won't be fears anymore. The goal, the idea, the business, pick it back up. Pick it back up unless it's unhealthy. Leave it. But if it's if you know it's good for you, and if, if you know, of course, if it's pressing on your heart and you know God gave it to you, pick it back up because it's more than likely it's still agitating you or still aggravating you. Pick it back up. And when you pick it back up, you're not the only one that's holding the weight of it. And know when you pick it back up, that you don't have to hold it by yourself. You don't have to tackle it by yourself. Even if you're picking picking it up and walking slightly uh, slightly scared in the midst of it, still have the faith to say, I don't know what I'm doing, but I trust and believe that God is going to reveal it to me step by step. And I can tell you that is a fact because that's literally what's been happening for me. So pick it back up. Confront your fears. Even if you have to speak directly to them, even do that. And once you do that, you'll look back and see that you were capable all along. You always had everything in you that you needed to pick it back up. So just know that you can do it. And if you have to, do it scared. Do it scared. You can do it. I believe in you. I know you're capable. If you need to come back to this episode and just Listen to this part. Listen to this. You are capable. You are worth it. You are worthy of the gift that you've been given. You don't have to hold it by yourself. You can have faith and be fearful, but listen to your faith. Listen to the faith side of it. Do it scared. You can do it. You can do it. Jada believes in you. If don't nobody believe in you, Jada show enough believe in you. I believe in y'all. Or I believe in you. I believe in, okay. I, I, believe, I believe in y'all. So, yeah, just do it scared. Do it scared. Um, don't let regret cripple you. And don't let failure hold you back to the point where you're fearful of failing. Let failure, let life's mistakes, let all of it redirect you. Don't let it discourage you. And you can do it. And I'm going to say in advance, I'm proud of you. So you can do it. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening to the first episode. I wanted to start off with a little bit of encouragement for the year, especially, you know, new year, new me child. Anywho. But yes, um, <laughs> you can do it and just go into the day or finish off the day just knowing that fact. Just let that stick with you. Let that marinate on you, sizzle on your spirit. You can do it and do it scared. When you think about doing so scared, how do you think about your comrades? Like people who are on your side. Like what is your perspective when you start to think about um, as far as to, ooh, I'm starting to shiver in my boots as far as how, what they think of me doing it scared or all aspects. So you feel like I fixed them when you told me you wanted to do this, mm -hmm. it was, I was ready to jump. Like when we going to do it? Right. Why did it take, why? So why did it take you so long to be like, okay, I may not be able to do this by myself because I felt like it was which it is but I felt like it was bigger than me and it required me stepping I am shivering it required me to it required me to step into the unknown of what I knew I should be doing which required Learning. Learning. 
and I wasn't the difference between then and now too is I wasn't I was willing to learn but not enough to where I wanted to act on it and that's why I would slow down what it leads me to my next point of it's important to have people around you who know what's in you too because if you're doing and, and and who really believe it because when you're doing something or when you know you should be doing something and you're scared of doing it one thing that I noticed with you was that you always asked me about it and you always pushed me to it even when I was hesitant with it and so that's another thing that lingers in the back of your mind too because now you know that you have somebody else that knows it but is also in the same uh ironic that we're in the same field but like the same field so that that helps um yeah and and understanding too Devin I am shaking (laughs) understanding too that that's why it's, it's important to be vigilant too because when when you're in the process of doing it scared when other people project their fear onto you you can internalize that, which can be dangerous. So, um, yeah, in the sense of in the sense of community, when it comes to doing things scared, be mindful of honestly, be mindful even of the people that you tell your fears to, because that that can be a big uh indicator too of whether indicator two of whether or not you're able to tackle it. Not that you're um, relying on their validation, but in the sense of when you need help, you want to at least make sure you're going to the right people for help. Not that you don't love the people who may not push you, but it's just for this particular thing, you stay over there. Yeah. That's a good one. You have a great question.